seven reasons Esau lost patriarchal blessings. Seven reasons Esau lost patriarchal blessings. Number six will shock you. Seven reasons why Jacob was actually the person who got patriarchal blessings and lesson for everyone. By God's grace of today's video, I wish to share with you seven credible reasons why actually Esau lost the patriarchal blessing, the blessing of the lineage, the spiritual blessings that will help to transcend even in the present generation and Jesus Christ of Nazareth coming out from their lineage. This particular video is coming as a result of comments made by someone in one of my videos when I mentioned that the mother intentionally made sure that Asa lost patriarchal blessings because of his marriage choice and the person was just saying it's about selling of his birthright and I say it's more than that. Let me create content to open your eyes is beyond that. So I will also term this video many sins of Asa that everyone must avoid so if only you follow me to the end of today's video i'll be sharing with you seven reasons why it's a lost patriarchal blessings but before then please give this video a thumbs up so that youtube algorithm will shift it to other people that need it as it is so may god bless you welcome back to jenny action tv in this particular channel we pray strategic prayers we read the word of god in and out we do spiritual work because actually the bible said faith without work is dead through strategic revelation of the Most High God, because the Bible said in Jeremiah, try to try to call upon me, and I will answer and show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. So, if this is the very first time you're finding yourself in this channel, you are highly welcome. So, kindly hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so as to always get my next upload. For my returning subscribers, I love you so much. Thank you for always stopping by. So, without wasting time, let's dive in. Number one, divine revelation. Before the twins were born, when Rebecca was carrying them in his womb, he received a divine revelation. And that divine revelation, you will actually see it in Genesis 25, particularly 23. God told him that two nations are in your womb. Two people born of you shall be divided. One shall be stronger the younger shall serve the elder one. So right from the beginning, when they were still in their mother's womb, there was a revelation that has shown that Jacob will actually be the elder in reality. And that is one of the reasons why that patriarchal blessings never went to Esau. And that shows us that even before you are conceived, before you come into this earth, God knows whom you are. That is why the Bible said he revealed the end before the beginning. But that does not mean that you will now use your human weakness to help and accomplish a negative prophecy. Because believe me, we are creative beings actually. The Bible, when God created human beings, he breathed his energy in us. We can actually recreate our world, recreate our destiny. But unfortunately, it so helped that particular prophecy to come to pass. And that leads me to number two, why his brother Jacob got the patriarchal blessing instead of Esau. Number two is this, Jacob is a strong negotiator. Just like his grandfather Abraham, who negotiated for liberation of Sodom and Gomorrah, when the angels come to destroy that particular land because of the presence of his own nephew that is there and through his negotiative skills he was able to deliver his nephew and the family though unfortunately the wife became a pillar of salt along the way because he flaunted the order of never to look back but you see jacob strongly and willingly negotiating to collect Esau's bet right when Esau returned from his game and they was desperately hungry and then wanted the pottage that Jacob was cooking and they, Jacob took that advantage to negotiate for his bet right believe me God like negotiators it means that Jacob was more future inclined and not immediate gratification but Esau was a man of immediate gratification and have trivial attitude towards spiritual matter towards something of strong value and God don't like such people and this is spiritual reason why he lost Patiaka blessing because at that moment there was a shift spiritually as soon as he handed over that better right spiritually he himself had used his hand to dispossess himself of the patriarchal blessing number three is their spiritual differences 
Based on, on the second point, you notice that Jacob was more calculative and inclined towards spiritual matters. Berisa is a carnal man and only inclined into immediate gratification. Just as a lot of people does, they don't look at the future they are looking at now. Now, let me give a, a big example. For example, a marriage choice. You see that young man because he's rich, your money is there, you will enjoy now. Now, you don't care what is inside because believe me the content is better than the container you may not know that behind that man is a murderer behind that man is a ritualist behind that man is abuser but the other man that seems that for now there is nothing behind that man is a mighty great man who is caring who is loving but because of immediate gratification you make that mistake you don't even lose only opportunity of enjoying marital bliss you might actually lost the opportunity of actually enjoying longevity so this is another part why that patriarchal blessing never went to Esau. Number four is this. Lack of honor to his parents which are marriage choice. One of the ten commandments which Moses later received in the Bible was honor your father and your mother that your day may be long. Because believe me, that is the only commandment with promise. Somehow, Isaac and Rebecca are not in support of the of the twins Esau and Jacob marrying from that particular Canaan land where they went to and the one way or the other it has become their family values and tradition that despite the fact that God take them away from their father's land and bring them to settle in Canaan that they will still go back and marry there that they are not meant to mingle with the people of that place in terms of marriage but Esau when he was 40 years old, flaunted this other and went and married the people of the land. And believe me, before he started even talking of marriage, he must have started having some premarital relationships with them. From that premarital relationship, he married one, let's assume that one was a mistake. But he went ahead and married the second one to prove to you that it was pure deliberate. And then to prove it, let's go to Genesis 26 from verse 34 4 and 35. And then Esau was 40 years old when he took to wife Judith, the daughter of Beri, the Hittatite, and Besmat, the daughter of Elon, the Hittatite, which was a, a grief of mind unto Sarah and Rebecca. Have you seen why? did not hesitate to ensure influence Jacob to deceive the brother and collect the patriarchal blessing because already Esau is a, a rebellious child. Now to prove the extent of grief and the pain that Rebecca suffered in the heart when Esau made this error, let's see Genesis chapter 27 for 6 and rebecca said unto isaac i am weary of my life that is i'm tired of this life because of the daughters of head if jacob take a wife of the daughters of head such as these which are of the daughters of the land what good shall my life be say so what good will life ever be if jacob tries to make the same mistake that esau made so that this is one reason that influenced him persuaded her to make sure that influenced Jacob to wear all the, the clothes of Esau when God, their father called Esau and wanted to bless them so as to ensure that he never Esau never got that patriarchal blessing because her hope of living is now only on Jacob getting married from their place and not actually from that land they were taken to. And that boils the, to the fact that some people who actually think that they wake up and get married and take some rational decisions about their lives without their parents is making a grievous mistake. Because your parents that brought you into this world have patriarchal right over you. And they... Your mother may not be charged with responsibility of blessing you, but it can influence the whole thing. And this is why you must honor your father and your mother. Don't say maybe my mother is jobless, he's not doing anything, it's only my father, he have money, let me love him so that he will now give me the share of that property. Believe me, your mother can go ahead to stop you if you don't behave well. So, 
And that takes me to another point. I may not actually name it five. It will still be under four. You, do you notice that Esau deliberately become a polygamist by marrying those two women from that particular Canaan land without any strings attached? But when Jacob become a polygamist, it was not deliberate. You know, no matter the reason you gave to actually do anything whatsoever you do in this world you will still pay for it too that he now supplanted deceived his brother and took away the patiaka blessing and now run away to laban according to the mother's arrangement did not stop him from receiving his punishment and the first punishment that hated him was when he started serving laban and picking threats in the fair one more beautiful one according to the bible which is racial being the younger daughter who is also industrious like him it happened that the father also supplanted subchange him by making sure that after seven years he was given Le leah instead of rachel and then you notice that it was never his intention perhaps if he married rachel from the one he may never enter into polygamy but it was when he was not happy because rachel was actually the woman he loved not Leah, he has to go and through another pain of extra seven years in order to get in Rachel. And God, be wiser than men, knows that if Rachel entered that home, Leah will become nothing immediately. And then he will now start a kind of maltreating Leah. God locked the womb of Rachel, and then Leah continuously started giving birth. And at a time when Rachel can no longer endure it, in, he, she now gave Jacob her maid servant which also made leah to give jacob also her own maid servant because being co-wives now they are in competition before later god opened her womb have you seen how jacob entered into polygamy it was never his original intention but it was by mistake and to a great extent as a result of circumstantial problem just like his grandfather Abraham. But when it comes to Esau, he deliberately walked into polygamy, despising the family ethos and tradition, despising the patriarchal right, despising his birthright, and despising the will of God. And this is exact reason why he lost patriarchal blessing. Number five is this. Deception by Jacob. We must not rule out the fact, according to Genesis 27 verse 19, that Jacob willfully connived and conspired with the mother to remove the patriarchal blessing from, from Esau when he agreed with the mother's scheme and then willingly lied to the father with your blinking an eye that he is Esau because the mother went and helped get one of the best clothes of Esau that resembled to a great extent the skin of Esau. And even when the father was trying to find out, I said the voice is Jacob's, but the body is Esau. He still look at the father without blinking an eye to lie that he is Esau. And that willful deception, he pays dearly later because by the time he ran away with also the guide and protection as well as the help of the mother to Laban, the mother's brother, so as to be shielded from being destroyed and fought by Esau, then you notice how many times his wages was subchanged as a form of deceiving him and then with the deceit of giving him the wrong wife making it to enter into polygamy showing that he later paid dearly for it and this shows us that whatever we sow in this earth we must surely reap no matter how long so that is another one number six which i say number six will shock you is choice of profession you notice that when they glue up those twins that is such choose a kind of profession that is geared towards worldly pursuit and immediate gratification without any form of fusion in view what, what do i mean how do i mean it so become a hunter and in that hunting you notice that it involves bringing meat that is perishable and in their time there is no much means of preservation and then they can get something today and finish it today another day the person may go out without even getting anything 
but Jacob actually chose the profession of farming. And being a farmer, he have opportunity to harvest some of his crops and then keep some for future use. And apart from that, his type of work now gives him the opportunity to stay for some time in the house in order to help the mother in the kitchen, which he saw that did not have such opportunity. And through helping the mother, he now learned the skill of cooking, which made him to cook that particular pottage that the smell is everywhere, which Esau could not resist, that ended in his birthright. Believe me, of uh, Jacob's a kind of a uh, profession was more of profession that is inclined towards future and promotes a kind of God's will as well as God's kingdom business. How do I know? You notice that when Jesus come later in this earth that most of his parable we, we are like and the kingdom of god is likened to this and the kingdom of god is likened to this and in all those most of it was related to farming for example the parable of the sower so you see have you seen that jacob his profession was tended closer to kingdom business while esau his profession was only tended to immediate gratification and uh, that kingdom mindset in collaboration with the relationship jacob have with the mother and uh, to a great extent his skill of cooking was actually what seduced esau to a great extent that he couldn't control his appetite he sold his birthright if you wish me to talk more on this because this is a very big concept that when i start talking about it can take 20 minutes video comment down below you will see how certain choices you make in life to a great extent can deny you lots and lots of things and last but not the least is this divine sovereignty destiny and how do i know before i go ahead to explain this let us look at malachi 1 verse 2 to 3 malachi chapter 1 the last chapter in the old testament malachi 1 verse 2 to 3 i have loved you said the lord yea yet you say wherein hast thou loved us was not Esau jacob's brother says the lord yet i loved jacob and i hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness god boldly said Esau i hate jacob i love he is God. You can never question him. He is unquestionable Jehovah, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. And he have the right to crown any one king and decide to bring him down another. Right from origin, before they were conceived, he had decided to love Esau and hated Jacob. There is nothing anyone can do about it. And it wasn't it all. Jacob is so now come into the world and started acting out the script of his life instead of trying to make some positive impact. But he never did that. He now helped destiny to bring that fate to pass. That actually two nations are in the mother's womb. Two people born of her will be divided. One shall be stronger, the younger shall serve the other one. This video is not yet exhausted. I will, I will make another video on seven credible lessons we present Christians, we present people of this world need to learn from this particular story of Esau and Abraham and Patiaka right and Beth right. But one condition when I see enough tons of comments and views from this video, I will now be motivated to make the next one so please if you have not subscribed to be part of the family kindly subscribe hit the bell notification so as to get my next upload please don't forget to click the like button so that others will get this video as you do all this may god honor you god bless you